All right, guys, Jerry Rowley here one more time with Dreadnought Naga Hide. Now, I know there's a lot of Cobra fans out there. There's a lot of Joe fans. And there's just that special category of guys that just love the Dreadnoughts. This guy's a little past my time, but Naga Hide, Pork Belly, and Yobo have been expected and waited anxiously for. Let's go take a look. I know some people think it's a little silly thing, but I love these little touches. Notice how there's a little tab now to make it easier to pull. I like those little additions. I open all my figures, but I am that special kind of sick that likes to keep all the boxes and I still want mint boxes. So this little tab that makes it easier to pull. Oh, love it. Oh, and there's a tab to make it easier to pull this out too. background now I know that the other dreadnoughts um, I know at least Zartan came with a dreadnought background not Cobra so this is a bit of a change this is what he looks like quickly just before we pull him out let's go see what's in there but man this guy looks big alright guys here's what he looks like this is a big figure. He is definitely one of the big boys in terms of height, in terms of muscle, and in terms of just about overall uh, looking and posing. But then again, so is pork belly. I don't know if you can catch all the details, but I would say he's a really well done figure. Like, you know, he's got a good weight on him, lots of mobility in each leg, torso, head, like overall, definitely a lot of detail, a lot of mobility, a tail. Nice details on Yobo. The monkey. Now this is definitely a deluxe figure. He's up there in price. I was surprised by the price, but now I understand it. Uh, Marco Antonio, I don't know if you can take a look at his loadout here. He comes with a lot of stuff. It's good gear for a deluxe figure. Um, you've got this nice <laughs> guitar case. No, it's obviously for the uh, rifle and all the details. I don't remember Lowlight anymore, but I think this might be very similar to what Lowlight had, if not the same one, maybe a different color. Sniper rifle, which actually, now that I think of it, I think looks very much like the one, looks very similar to the one in the Deluxe Zartan. Sorry, just because we're actually here. I actually have one here. Can you see the, um, the rifle there? Probably can't capture it in the camera, but I think it might actually be very similar if not the same hat a quiver machete obviously as you can see a little bent but that's kind of expected with the plastic that Hasbro been using I'm sure it can get straightened out and two knives an arrow and will actually fit in the quiver and looks like a crossbow of some kind uh, no it's a special kind of bow I'll have to look it up I know this it'll come to me <laughs> let's load him up so according to my trusty cameraman this is a some kind of tactical bow So we took apart his rifle and I love the way it fits so perfectly. The mold is awesome. It even snapped in and the bipod and 
what I'm guessing is a silencer or suppressor of some kind and a scope all into the uh, carrying case. We've loaded him up with this machete that clips onto his arm. Backpack can carry the longbow and this it also comes with some kind of I don't know what it is some kind of it looks like a suppressor silencer but I guess you don't really need one for a for a bow but it it's there and a place to hold it you've got an extra hole there that you can I guess put it there instead your bow on your shoulder and pork belly ready to charge I'll wrap it up there. It's a dreadnought. I mean, you don't need much detail. I loved the simplicity of Buzzer, but this guy is definitely more detailed, more complex, a lot of stuff to play with, so many poses, so many possible ways of putting him in a scene in different type of action, whether it's with the rifle and scope, whether he's using the, the bow, um, or just standing there being tough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helped someone get an idea. Don't forget to share it with a friend if you'd like them to see the video so they can have an idea of what's coming. Like, subscribe, the usual. Yo, Joe.